guys I thought I'd pop on today and just talk a little bit about something that I have found myself falling prey to and I kind of thought that if I'm falling prey to it a little bit then you guys probably do at some point as well and that is um, it's about journaling <laughs> and I find that you know I love looking on Instagram and Pinterest and everywhere on social media of all these beautiful 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 journal pages and all these wonderful creations and things like that and um, I find it very inspiring and I love looking at what everybody's up to and I'm nosy and I really enjoy looking into other people's journals and getting a glimmer of their kind of life and how they're journaling and stuff but I think sometimes in doing that, that can also have a bit of a negative. It can be really positive in terms of it being really inspiring. I have a rabbit under my legs. Um, I have, you know, it can be really inspiring. But on the other hand, I think sometimes it can be a little, have a little bit of a more of a negative impact in as much as, you know, you can have the whole um, comparing yourself to others scenario. And I think that's really bad. And... You know, because journals are your own personal thing. It's your own personal journal. It's your own way to express yourself in whatever way you want to express yourself. And I know this. I've been journaling a long time. I know this. And life has just been really crazy busy of late. I think everybody's life has crazy busy times. And I haven't been journaling anywhere near as much as I used to journal. And a little part, a little tiddly part of me has been like, well, you know, I don't want to journal because I don't have any supplies with me or any energy or anything to kind of be like, make the journal page look pretty. And I did this for a little while. I was kind of like, oh no, I want to make my journal pretty and I want to do this. I want to, it's got to be perfect. And the journal page has got to look amazing. Hello, Florence. And that's really you know what I mean you shouldn't you shouldn't do that because yes if you want to make your journal page look all pretty and scrumptious and lovely that's great but it you shouldn't stop you from just journaling and it was kind of stopping me a bit I was kind of a bit like oh I don't want to I don't want to just quickly write something down in my journal because I want to do something when it's really make I've got time to make it look really pretty but that's stopping me from journaling and recording my thoughts and feelings and my memories and all that kind of stuff. And that's that's not good. And I just thought if I feel like that sometimes, then some of you guys might feel like that as well. So I just wanted to say, remind us all that don't worry about it. If you want to just write, then just write. If you want to just use black pen and doodle, then doodle. If you want to really go to town with loads of scrapbooking supplies or paint or whatever, then do that. But it doesn't matter because it's your journal and you can do in your journal... Rabbit! Hang on, I'll show you Rabbit. Ready? Rabbit, what are you doing under my desk? You're causing havoc. Mummy's trying to make a video. You lunatic. Where'd you go? Where'd you gone? Where'd you go? There he goes. What are you doing? Look what you've done. You, monkey. Monkey rabbit. <laughs> so, yeah. So, if you want to, um, you know, journal, journal. Don't worry. If you want to go to town and you've got the time and the energy and the materials and you want to go to town, then go to town. But don't let other people's pages to stop you from creating your own pages and don't let this idea in your head that you've got to create these wonderful scrumptious pretty planner pages stop you from journaling and just getting anything down because even if you just write and you use a pencil and you just write at least you're still journaling and you're getting stuff down and that is a good thing and if you had time and inclination further down the line then you could always go back to those journal pages and embellish them if they want to or whatever you know who cares then these aren't like these are just for you and your own personal use or your family or stuff like that so don't worry that everything's got to be perfect and everything's got to be pretty and immaculate and all that kind of stuff just go forth and journal and just journal don't worry about it choose any notebook doesn't matter I 
sometimes I'm like, oh, I've got to find the most perfect notebook and it's all got to be perfect, 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 but it doesn't. It doesn't have to be perfect. It could be any notebook, it could be any pen or pencil, just journal. So go forth and journal, guys. Bye, from me and from Florence.